Cody Gapo looks average to be fair. If you offered me a draw right now, I wouldn't take it. I don't want to take it because I smell blood. I want to add insult to injury and I want to kick Liverpool while they're down and we owe them. I just smell blood and I want to go there and I want to beat them and I think we're going to do it. Facts. If you offered me a draw right now, I wouldn't take it. I don't want to take it because I smell blood. I want to add insult to injury and I want to kick Liverpool while they're down and we owe them. Like you said, we Definitely haven't won at Anfield for a long time. They embarrassed us there last year. I just smell blood and I want to go there and I want to beat them and I think we're going to do it. Cody Gakpo looks average to be fair. I think we dodged a bullet. Thanks for that. Um, Darwin Nunez. You need a striker. Bench. Up front, he's all right. Misses too many chances though. <laughs> Welcome along to the weekend roundup. Right. <laughs> um, listen, this is going to be a great show today. Um, Abby is here as usual, Tottenham fan, as you know, Matisse, Chelsea fan, Alex AGT, a very, very happy Liverpool fan and special guest today. Give it up for Flex. Come on. Yeah, I'll give it up for Flex. Seven claps. Yes, One, two, two, three, four, four five, six, seven. Well done, bro. Thanks for telling Flex, me. Flex, you know what? First of all, um, <laughs> big yourself up, man. Thanks for coming in, man, because I'll be honest with you. I was trying to, I was trying to sort of put it in my head, like think, not put myself in a United fan shoes, but thinking of my club, right? So with my rivalry, and I'm like, if we just lost 7-0 to Tottenham, I ain't coming in. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm missing. No one's seen me. Um, but you have braved it. You have come in. I respect it. So respect for coming in, first of all. Um, but yeah, guys, you know what the week comes, weekend roundup's all about. We take a look at all the games that took place over the weekend. And there were some great games over the weekend, some great drama. We're going to talk about all those games. But we can only start in one place. We can only start with one game. And that has to be... What I'm going to be, I'm calling it an Anfield massacre. I mean, <laughs> Liverpool seven. Say again, Robbie. Seven, Oof. Manchester United <laughs> nil. I'm going, to, I'm going to start with you first, AGT. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, yeah. Obviously, as a massive Liverpool fan, you, you've been getting a lot of um, grief on the show over the past few weeks. I've been asking you questions. Is it time for Klopp maybe to, to go and stuff like that? Mm. But yesterday at Anfield, I mean against your biggest rivals, 7-0. Mm. And mm. what an unbelievable mm. performance. Mm. Salah breaking the record as mm. well as an all-time top Liverpool goal scorer. Could you have had a more perfect day yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> Seven grams of sugar Ooh. in. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, um... Yeah, I agree with you. I've had a hard time of it on this show, on this channel, no less, recently, in the last few months. Um, and it's beautiful, Robbie. What can I say? Big up to Flex for showing up. Um, we've beaten them not one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not six, Robbie. Seven. Big balloon there behind Flex's head, if we can get a picture <laughs> of that as well, it says seven. No, listen, I was told before the game, Lissandro, best defender in the world. Casemiro, best CDM in the world, yeah? I'm here in Rashford, most informed player in the world right now. Can you just remind me, Flex, the first goal, Rafa Varane was at fault. The Rolls Royce, the Rafe, the fan! <laughs> On his bum, Cody Gakpo, who you just said, we dodged a bullet, thank you. No, thank you for showing me his videos in Qatar on that yacht, and that made me fall in love with him. Two goals for him. The second goal, I'm hearing Lissandro got twisted up like a game of Twister. He's a butcher, but he can't do with halal meat. <laughs> more like Pat Butcher. <laughs> well, right, that's what yesterday. LJ Brown says, Flex, your butcher was looking more like Pat Butcher than the actual butcher. When the butcher becomes the meat, he was passed around like a piece of veal in a Goodfellas film. <laughs> right? And the third goal, Casemiro losing the ball on the edge of the box. He had a howler. And your captain, Ratatouille, Mr. Bruno <laughs> Fernandes. Fernandes. Awful. If you don't cook him, I will. Because by the fourth, the fifth, the sixth goal, he was throwing his arms up, diving from a touch on the shoulder, holding his face, going down. No, no, no. You've got to hold this one today. Hold your licks. We got a picture with me and you and Bruno just 
<laughs> yeah, are you still doing that interview with him after you slagged him off on United view last night? And then I'm not even finished. Darwin, straight away, setting up, uh, sorry, Salah setting up um, uh, Gakpo for his second goal, 3-0, 4-0, Nunes, 5-0, Salah takes his top off. He's had more yellow cards for taking his top off and celebrating against United at Anfield than they have scored goals at Anfield in the last 10 years. Jesus. The stats do not lie, Robbie. The fifth goal, unbelievable finish. The sixth goal. And then we brought on Bobby just to seal it off. My hero, I love Bobby Firmino, even he scored. And they were leaving by the droves, Robbie. Absolute howler. One of the best performances I've ever seen in my life. And it was so beautiful. And do you know what? This is not, not just for me. This is for you. This is for you. This is for everyone at home who has felt this guy has been getting way too big for his boots in the last two to three months. This is for you. It's a present to you. Seven up. Matisse, d d you know, I mean, obviously Alex is over the moon, right? But, I mean, myself. did you see that coming? Because at half time, you know, they're one nil down. But to be fair, United had played all right in that first half. Robbie, I was covering the Bahrain Grand Prix. Vroom, vroom! Yes. And then I turn my head and I hear in the, up in the next door studio, this guy losing his lungs. And I thought, no, surely not, not another L. I go in there and I've never seen a smile so big. And Doyle. I saw all the teeth, <laughs> him and Doyle. And I said, oh, it's three nil. So I head on home. I get in the Uber and the Uber driver says, did you see that beat down? Smackdown, Monday Night Raw. It will be live on the big six. It will be here for you too. You're lucky Skullfuckery's not, not teamed up with Jace, like we said pre. <laughs> and then he tells me it was seven. I said, seven. match of the day, I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to get some popcorn. I'm gonna have to get some, 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 some seven up. I couldn't believe it, honestly. It and all of the questions on this show for the last few weeks, are Manchester United in a title race? And I sat here and I said, you know what, let me wait. Let me wait, because I've been giving them a lot of praise, and deservedly so. You've had a very good run. But I said, let me wait, because I'm not quite sold. And I'm so glad that when DR Clips upload those clips, I will not be involved in that absolute For mess. Once. Because everybody tried to will me in. And I said, no, I'm not saying it. They're not in a title race, Robbie. Uh. Ask me the question again, Robbie. Are they in a title race? Let me Are ask they in you. A race? Are they in a title race? No. <laughs> in 40 <laughs> points, man. No. Boy Rio, man. I mean, Abby. <laughs> <laughs> just got murked. Can you believe it? No, I couldn't. I, I really couldn't believe it. I've, I've been saying that they are in a title race, so <laughs> shockingly, that's, that's not gone to plan. Um, no, I was beyond shocked. I thought no chance that United lose this with, with the way that Liverpool had been performing. Um, and even if they were going to win, I still thought it would be close, like a 2-1, two, 3-1. Two one, Me too. Three, one. Me too I but I get home from wherever I was yesterday and hadn't looked at anything, hadn't seen anything that happened yesterday. I mean, I'd, I'd kept an eye on the race, but apart from that, I get home and I turn the TV on and I go, oh what was my the God. score when you turned it on? 6-0. Right, okay. And I turned it on just as Bobby Firmino <laughs> put the seventh in the back of the net and I went, oh my God. I could not believe what I was seeing. I thought to myself, no, surely, surely. I mean, Flex, the way he was in here on Saturday, he had the glasses on, he had that big drip energy, he had that yeah, swag about him. He was like, oh, Carabao yeah. Cup winners, you know, can't touch us. Humbled. They got touched. Humbled, really. Mm. Yeah. Flex, before I come to you, let me it's just nice read out um, some of the super chats that have been coming in. Keep them coming, guys. Um, LJ Brown says, AGT, you better cook Flex for that disrespectful head-to-head -head thing you did. Um, and when I mean cook him, cook him like a lobster in a Dutch pot, he says, right? Um, PSV says, Cat C well. Rolls Royce. He goes, seven hog, CR7, seven I got hog. seven on it. Uh, Sultan says, you hold that sevy, seven deadly sins. Mm. It's peak, hold that. That's a good one. Um, Garbo Staunton says, uh, Bruno, world class, do me a favour. Never when he display, displays that level of petulance, childish behaviour, and not just um, in the Liverpool games as well. Um, Akil says, what a horrible give-up attitude um, by their team. Uh, Matisse, 
Oops, sorry, it's just so many of them. Sultan says, Matisse, you must cook Saeed um, and Flawless. Yeah. Um, let me see. Uh, Ashby says, Robbie, I still can't believe it. It's, it was so, got so bad yesterday that my girlfriend covered my eyes when Salah dropped Martinez like we were watching a horror movie. He's a big arm Man United fan. Uh, where's that Man United fan who's always coming at me every week as well? Well, I yeah, forgot yeah, his yeah. name. That one from, is it Perth something from uh, Australia? Yeah, yeah. Haven't seen him in here yet. Shannon Hollis says, uh, my dad is a Manchester United fan and yesterday was his birthday. Ooh. I don't think he's Ooh. ever going to celebrate his birthday wow. again. No, I wouldn't. That's terrible. That's horrible. Wow. Um, no. Rage says, Liverpool honoured Ronaldo last year with a seventh minute applause. He did? They honoured him again with seven goals. Oh, we did. Thank you. Oh, That's a good one. Um, Take that one. Uh, really? It's your boy, says Liverpool fans. Uh, you won your home games and so did United. 1-1 one, one split for the season really and only three points it. collected. That's it. United, land, United fans, let's go. Um, let's put a bit of positive on there. Um, and uh, Bitter Red Devil says, what's more embarrassing than a 7-0 loss? An 8-2 defeat. Gunners need to stay in their lane. Well, let me just explain that 8-2, right? One thing I'd say about that 8-2 is when we lost 8-2, there were, there's never any full mitigating circumstances to getting eight put past you, but it was half of the team was injured. It was a youth team, half of it. Arsenal played about four players that day. This is the worst. That came out of the youth team. 7-0 to your deadliest rivals is way worse. Come on. This is um, the worst one. Flex... Don't worry, United are still in the tighter race with a laughing emoji, says Ride2696. And um, Josh A says they spelt Scouser, you know, six goals in one half. And I'd like the apologies to be as loud as you were on Thursday and Friday, please, before the game. Thank you. If you want to hear what Flix <laughs> has to say about this, I want a thousand likes right now. Give us a thousand likes 000. because he's Why just not? been sitting there. I, as I said, and I'm going to give him credit, right? Because I would not have come in today. No way. I'd be not missing, man. I don't think that's it. Tottenham 7, Arsenal 0. It'd probably take me a, a few weeks to recover, let alone to be around the next day. So give him credit for that. He's come to hold his medicine. But Flex, explain to me what the hell happened yesterday. You were so confident when we did that, um, you know, head to head. What happened, man? What? I, I mean, I've got, <laughs> you had a, it's, it's almost like everything you said went wrong. You smelt blood. We smelt blood. <laughs> they smelt blood. Gakpo's no good. Gakpo was like, sensational, you know? Nunes. Um, Nunes is no good. Mm. Nunes was sensational. Mm. Doesn't score, he said. Thank you very much. You dodged, we dodged a bullet with that one on Gakpo. Thank you. <laughs> you um, didn't dodge a bullet, mate. You got about 100 bullets yesterday. Got seven. I mean, Explain, man. I, I, I give the floor over to you. Firstly, mm. got to hold it from you. Yeah. Got to hold it from you. This, this is your time. Thank you, brother. I don't ever want to overshadow the moment. This, your, this is your show. This is your time. These two, <laughs> what I won't have is, is the Spurs fans getting involved and the Chelsea fans getting involved. That's the first thing. Yeah, fair enough. Um, but complete and utter embarrassment is the only is the only word to to describe it um disgusting um and you know what things like that can happen yeah where you can lose games oh, sorry but to this, get this, destroyed this, i like just that. have to read this um, super chat here from debu who says flex you've got to go through the seven stages of grief yeah <laughs> literally <laughs> this feels like a nine night and it was only seven <laughs> um oh. you just got to take your licks at the end of the day it's inexcusable what happened in, in, inexcusable that capitulation if you get to if you get 3-0 down away from home in a game like that everybody's supposed to shut up shop and say you know what the game's gone you move on we have players just giving up we have players doing things that we haven't seen for a while and Liverpool just tore us a new one this this I have to say this has been the biggest humbler I've ever been on the end of and you know what on that Saturday it was Saturday isn't it when I was giving it to him and he sat there. Friday, I think. Or was it Friday? Friday. Friday on Friday, sorry. And he just took it all in. And I didn't and say do, a word. And, it, and didn't say a word. Do I regret being that confident? I don't regret being that confident because the reason why I was that confident is because of all the good work we've done. But 
For you to sit there and take that like you did in that calm nature, what can I say? I've got, I have to just to hold everything to the point where, you know what, you know when you're driving, I rang Robbie on the way down, I said, listen, M1 shut. <laughs> I said, North, North Circle is shut, have you seen it? He goes, no, I've just been on it. I said, shut, mate. I said, Message Jason, can I join by virtual? Can I go on StreamYard? <laughs> can, I join, can I join virtually? And then I was thinking, should I do the salty thing? You're thinking, oh, do you know what? Now nah, we're still good. You know, we're, we're seven points clear. They scored seven goals. They never got seven points. Which I'll still rather be us than them. All these things, you know. All this. Then I thought, nah, man. Football's, nah. football's a crazy. You have to just come, turn up, take your licks. Because it's a long... I mean, last week, you just won the League Cup. Yeah, exactly. I was drinking right, Carabao, it, not seven up. Yeah. And it was so positive around Manchester United. Do you know what I mean? But I want to ask you this. Yeah. Was that a false dawn? Was that a full stone? I saw the. I what, don't know was if, what a full stone? Like the positivity. The positivity no. after winning the league cup. No, no, no. Was that a full stone? Because I saw um. The, I don't know if you saw the sort of exchange between Graham Souness mm. and um Gary. He, and shit. he said we've been getting away yeah. with it. Which was we've very been the most informed team. Well, let, let me just let me just explain. Graham Souness, idiot. Well, let me just explain what he was saying. That's what he was saying. He was How saying idiot, that though. you've been getting away with it. Just he goes, today. you only just scraped the win against West Ham, and he goes, there's been a lot of games where. You haven't been as good as you you guys said you've been. He said, you know, you've had six put past you earlier on this season by yeah. Manchester City. Yeah. You got four put past you by Brentford. Arsenal put three past I'm you. I'm a third in the league then. Right? How? But I'm just going by what he was saying. <laughs> That's so what I'm saying. That's I'm, what I'm, I'm saying. saying. Why are you talking shit? I mean, what do you guys think? Have they kind of been getting away with it? Have, have we got carried away, away with the whole Man United train? Um, I think... I think it, it's, it lies somewhere in the middle. Obviously, sometimes they've, they've conceded a goal here or there. You know, in the first half, they've had to come back. They've showed good mentality. But I think, yeah, going into title race talk, for me, was too far. Because this, this team, it's, it's too early for them. It's too early for them. They, they still have ways to go. They still have things to learn about Ten Hag and the way he wants to actually play the game, which is why maybe he's been, at times, a little bit more pragmatic. Um, but for me, I, I'm shocked. I genuinely am shocked, and I, and I do think this is a once-off. I don't think it's going to keep happening. I don't think a they're going to go on. Good does to, we're not. But, but it is not. a shocking result, and it's and it's inexcusable and it's unexplainable. Like <laughs> it's going to take them days to get over this. Really is. And days. I don't. We'll as, never go. Over weeks. This. As, as, days. Well, they have to get Seven over it. Seven days, days at least. They have to I mean, get over I mean, it because they've me, got a big me, game coming up. Yeah. Let me just say again, right? Um, when I'm saying about have we got carried away with the United train? Even the League Cup, when you kind of analyse it, yeah. you beat Charlton at home, you had all your fixtures were at home. You beat yeah. Charlton at home, Facts. you beat Villa at home, mm -hmm. you beat, uh, Forest. beat Forest, Forest over two Forest legs. Over two over legs. Two legs. Yeah. Yep. And Reading at yeah. home. They're I mean, that's not run. exactly the hardest oh. run to the final. Oh. And even in the final, you know, you know, well done, you beat Newcastle, are a good side, but the run to the final, yeah. it was quite an easy run, wasn't it? Here's the thing. So that's what I'm saying. Is, is it... I'm just asking a question. Yeah, yeah. Is, I mean, AGT, do you think everyone's been getting carried away with United? Of course United? they have. The, Mate, two, the reason before, have. there was a reason before, though, why yeah. you did say you were scared. Let's not uh, get it twisted. Let's not act like he predicted this. He said he's scared of Man United and he's he worried about they beat, the game. They beat, they beat so hold on. So, so let me just, so let me, let me land because I will take my licks. But what I won't do is just sit here and let everyone talk shit that Man United haven't been good this season because we're third in the league for a reason and we won a cup for a reason, right? Mm -hmm. And there's a reason why, as a Liverpool fan, AGT said before the game, I'm worried about this game. And I asked him on United View, are you worried about Man United under Ten Hag? He said, I'm scared. So why did he say that then? Because, because Graham Souness is lying and we're not getting carried away. He's a Liverpool fan. He said he's scared of Man United. He did say that. Mm. Talk. Ma Man United, now, Man United are still... I'm sensing, <laughs> I'm sensing a lot of anger. Man United not Man scared United. now. It's true though. I'm so, no, it just, this has been it the just, best weekend does, of my life. No, that's true, but it just is his question. It, his question is, have Man United, is it false that Man United have been doing good? It's, well, not, it's not You false. said you were scared before the game. Hey, so why would you scared Time will tell. I th I th no, I think no, we've, we've already seen enough to see it's, that. It's not, it's not false. We've had a good season. It's, it's, it's not false I, th I think you've been of, good, um, but I think, yeah. and I think you've ground out results, but I wouldn't say you've been in the good like Arsenal good. No, no, we haven't. That's why we're not talking. That's, why, they're not in the that's why we're the third best that's team. That's why they're not in the top. Look, here's, I think this is really simple, yeah? Man United are the third best team in the league right now, yeah? And before this happened, everybody's saying, and rightly so, bloody hell, look at the job Eric Tenner's done. No one expected them to turn it around mm -hmm. as quickly as this. We've got a cup in the bag, easy run. We're in, um, 
in the running for another two cups and our objective, we're still in line for our objectives. This is a disgusting, embarrassing result. Mm. There is nowhere to hide, take all the licks. But if you were to ask me, would I rather be in Liverpool situation now or Manchester United after getting seven nil, I would still say Man United. Still, I'd yeah. rather be seven clear of Liverpool, yeah, um, I would rather be knowing that I'm playing Southampton next game, get back to business, there's another game on Thursday, get back to business, and I'm confident we'll bounce back. I'll take every lick going, but what I won't have is people trying to say that Man United haven't been good this season and don't deserve to You have been. Say, I mean, right, have no, been. but that was the question. At, at, and I'm been. saying we have. At, you half, have at half time it was 1-0, wasn't it? Yeah, exactly. It's 45 minutes to of madness. That's 45 minutes, you know when players. you say 45 minutes or one result, or even, even three results. If we get to the end of the season, which I'm confident we will, having finished no less than third, maybe even another cup and top four, yeah? Mm. No one's going to go, but you took them three. If we finish higher than Liverpool, we finish higher than Tottenham, which higher than, we're well, definitely going to finish higher than Chelsea. You know what I mean? And it, then in, 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 its, in its entirety, Man United had, had a good season. Yeah. That's but the, but that's were it, you that's getting it. too carried away with People it? People say, look, the like, ca- title know. talk, yes. Mm. 100%. And how many times have you tried to say to me, but you are in a title race. You saying Arsenal fans here, but look, you're only three points. I'm mm-hmm. being the one saying, listen, yeah. that's beyond us. What about this one then? I've got another question for you, right? Mm. Should Bruno Fernandes continue as a captain? I mean, some of his yes. antics yesterday in that game. He was there was one time where he looked like he, he, he'd been pushed mm. in the chest. He went down holding his face. He was uh, moaning about everything. He even pushed the referee. Yeah, how um, did he get away with that, by the way? He touched the referee. There was a next time... hands on him, Flex. There was a next time when... Um, he, you know, Gary Neville said, I mean, uh, we didn't really see it clearly on the TV, but Gary Neville him. said that, you know, he's signalling that he wants to come off. What I mean, Bruno, you know, I mean, signalling that disgusting. you want to come off. I mean, we've got a poll going at the moment. I don't, and that, and Bruno, thing, I don't, I don't I know if it definitely that. was well, hold, that. Hold on, we've got a poll. Should Bruno Fernandes still be captain that I want you guys to vote on? Um, but, well, Gary Neville said it, though. Yeah. I didn't actually see it, right? Because when the camera was showing more Salah celebrating his goal... But Gary Neville said it. I don't see. Why would he say it yeah. if he weren't trying? But, but I've seen the clip. I've seen the clip everyone's talking about. Listen, I'm not just defending Bruno because he was absolutely disgusting yesterday. Should he still be the captain? He absolutely should be the captain. The same reason. <laughs> is that the level? But he, he, Listen, hold you, on. The, the, if you're the captain, right? Yeah. So the team capitulated. Yeah. yeah. You, you said that at the start. He did capitulate. And the, the, the person who was at the, the person who should be getting everyone together and yeah. saying, come on, guys, man. Yeah. I mean, don't let your heads drop. Let's not get embarrassed. I there. agree. Was the worst one. Absolutely. On the pitch. Ab- absolutely. How can he, how can and I tell, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you why I should still be the captain. Because the same way this resurgent Man United, and this is why as football fans, we can't be too reactionary and throw things out the plat and, and say that now nah, Bruno shit. Well, he that should, was Gary Neville he should be, like Yeah, he said he's, he's fed up with him and he needs to cut that out of his game. That's what he need, that's what he said. He said, I'm fed up with Bruno back. doing that. But, and that's just the thing, that's the, they're trying to make this element of like, all oh, the house is on fire now, they're going to capitulate. This has been one game. Roy, that, Roy and that is, that. and that's is back in time. Uh, exactly. Your boys. These but, are United guys. You right. said he'd go into hiding. Right. Are you going to let me talk or not? Right, so what I'm saying is, is that the same way how Manchester United have been resurgent with, pe- with us saying, as Man United fans, the real captain's been Bruno because it isn't Harry Maguire. Is the same reason why I'm not just going to say that we should discard him of it and give it to one of the other players who equally gave up yesterday and was equally as shocking. Yes, he needs to take responsibility for that, and that was that was inexcusable. But if you're asking me, should he still be the captain in a team that's growing, in a team where they all gave up yesterday? I ain't going to take the captain arms down and go and give it to Luke Shaw after yesterday's performance. I ain't going to go and give it to Martinez after yesterday's performance. I ain't going to give it to Varane after yesterday's performance. I ain't going to give it to Casemiro after yesterday's performance. It was a shit performance. Mm. We've got to move on. So, to so, 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 to, so today, it's about licks, but it's not about, and this is, I expect this, because obviously from outside looking in, you've got to pile in. But as a Man United fan, what I won't do, I would hold all the licks, but I'm not going to turn on my team. I'm not going to act like we haven't done good things under Eric Ten Hag, and I'm not going to not trust Eric Ten Hag. From was Casemiro home. playing? Barely. <laughs> Missing like the Arsenal game. <laughs> Missing, like the Arsenal. <laughs> Missing like the Arsenal game. I heard Derek Ten Hag has got them in at 7am to run seven miles in seven minutes this morning. <laughs> That's what I'm I've hearing. heard we're seven points above Liverpool. Ooh. Again, if you want to defend yourself, would you rather, you yourself, uh, would you rather, would you rather be in third? Or? I'd rather be in the so Champions you'd rather be in fifth. Hundred percent. So you'd rather be in fifth, chasing I'd about to go be out the most the successful League. club in the country of all time. All right, okay. Let me ask you a question, actually. By the way, we did a poll, Robbie, right at the start. Should Flex give an apology on behalf of Manchester United? There were two options for this poll. Option one was it's only fair, yes, and option two was a hundred percent needed for the fans. I ain't doing it, it, it. both equals a hundred percent. So now you have to do it. No, I don't have to do it. I'm not doing it. I've got another question for you, Flex, right? I'm sorry to keep piling in. 
I'm sorry to keep piling in on you, right? But no, do it. if I you won't. could, right, crystal ball, yeah. you can take one of these two, right? You win the League Cup last week, or you beat Liverpool 7 0. Instead Ooh, of losing. Great to question, seven-nil. Robbie. Great Which journalism. Which would you have taken? Amazing journalism. You beat, seven, you beat them 7 0 at Anfield. Or it's about you trophies. Win that would have been nice. It's about if you trophies. Did that, it's about trophies. At the end of the day, and this is why I'm going to say the cup. You can celebrate this like a the cup. league cup. Right? Yeah, it's a the cup. league cup. A cup. It doesn't matter. We you're haven't, in, we haven't in, won one. We haven't you're won. In other, you're in other cups. <laughs> seven nil against Liverpool. Seven I've just years told you, Mark. They won one as well. I've just told you, Mark, and I'm about to tell. By the way, this is me every week with him. Yeah, every just week. Asking yeah. the question, right. and I'm just answering it. And I'm just answering the question. The reason why is because football is about trophies. Big results are lovely. Big results you can print on T-shirts and, yeah, you know, you can use it in arguments and saying, but what about the 8-2? But what about the 7-0? You can do that. But football is about trophies. It's about winning trophies. I'll pick a trophy over any internet trolling, beef, whatever. Because at the end of the day, when all the chips are down, Liverpool might not, still, might not even get in the top four. By the way, they beat Man United 7-0. I don't care. Seven, 7K, 7K live viewers right now. There Ruby. you go. 7, <laughs> 7K. There should be 7K likes then. Oh my God. <laughs> it's everything seven. <laughs> right? Um, let me go through um, the seven super... Sorry, it's not seven. <laughs> but go through the super chats that are here, right? Uh, Sanji says, as a Madrid fan, Casemiro is great, um, but he's not performing in the big games against pressing teams. He's the main reason for um, the Ajax, City, Chelsea... UCL, um, UCL exit. Um, he's also on the bench last year um, for the Champions League comeback. Uh, Joffrey says, uh, Flex, um, big up man, live strong, we're backing you. There you go. There you go. Um, uh, let's have a discussion. It says, I'm suing the FA for showing such an X rated material <laughs> on TV live. He says they've got bad Shamelessly, zero hog. By the way, Man United fans, hold that. Yeah, hold um, it, hold Garbo it. Staunton hold it. says Casemiro versus Partey is done. One player uh, makes a mistake which leads to a goal, then scores uh, the next goal and drives his team on to win the match. The other one gets twisted up by Fabinho. <laughs> uh, Zafir says, uh, just look at the XG. United have been getting away with it for a long time. They beat Charlton, Burnley, Newcastle to win their trophy. Uh, Sat P says, Klopp saw uh, Mikel use Tony's tweet to G up Arsenal, and he said, let me try that tactic and use Flex shameless review to do the same for Liverpool. Um, <coughs> Eli- if, if, the, if he did, you'd really bust, man. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, exactly. Elijah says, I uh, love the fact that you've got uh, Flex, the only one who's got a full fat seven up. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, I've got both, but I went for the full fat. Yeah. <laughs> Javi says, um, it, at I the beginning get, of the season, on this show. at the beginning, <laughs> it's the first time on it. <laughs> uh, Javi, I think Javi Ismail is, uh, looks like he's a Man United fan. He says, at the beginning of the season, we were fighting for top four. We're still in third with one cup and hopefully one more cup at the end. Um, the first of the season, ETH still has one more season to rebuild before we see ETH's team. Uh, Garbo Stoughton again says Robbie Bruno acts like this every game. George G does he? He does, yeah. No, not as bad. No, not that yesterday. Man United fans be praising him all the time because he covers every blade of grass. Bruno gave up yesterday. That's, he didn't mm. run. Bacetic when he ran past him, he just George gave, gave up. up. That is gave up. George G says uh, uh, this is a process. Yes, however, United fans are getting uh, over exaggerating every big time. Mm-hmm. Ashby says not enough credit has been given to Liverpool. Thank you. Let's talk Salah about how Liverpool. Were. Oh, people called talk him about f- Liverpool. Then stop talking about Man United. People, people <laughs> called him <laughs> Finnish. Finnish. 11 goals and four assists in six games against United. An absolute legend. It's actually 12. Jordan, Jordan Astro says, uh, congrats to Liverpool on winning their cup final. Thank Looking you. forward to the bus parade at the end of the season. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, oh, this Jack, is a we've got we've seven bars. We've got seven That's bars. what I'm saying. You've got your seven up. You can, you can frame that, put that in, your, in your room. Uh, you know what I mean? Jack Yaldio <laughs> 01 says, uh, <laughs> Bruno, Bruno should be given... Put on your car, mate. Bruno should be given the same treatment Arteta <laughs> gave Abamia. Um, he was an absolute disgrace yesterday. Um, Garbo Sorton says, and he, he never gets booked. True. John uh, Rubin says, I enjoyed the United getting folded seven times yeah. as much as um, I did with my missus last night. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. Easy. <laughs> yeah. Don't need to know. Um, easy, mate. Easy. Uh, why was Lissandro uh, playing Beyblade yesterday, says uh, Magic uh, Beater. Entry Elite says, I'm an Arsenal fan, um, but 
what those United players did yesterday was an embarrassment to the whole Premier League. Biggest club, what a joke. Todd Miller says, finally, I get a day off the banter. He's a big Chelsea fan, of course. Uh, Don Dapper <laughs> says, Man United fans smelt blood, but it was Liverpool fans who claimed their seven pounds of flesh from them red devils. They got Craig David. Uh, DJ uh, Dre P says, um, is there a 7-Eleven out there in Manchester? <laughs> North Korea Fan TV says, Robbie, we have unfinished oh, business. That's a great name. Right? Uh, meet me. Yeah, you don't know where that is. You, can't, you don't know what that he's says. Got a, he's got a picture of uh, King John. Try and say that, please. <laughs> I'm not going to try to say that. But over 8,000 of you in the chat. Um, just before we move on, because there are other teams that played oh, this weekend. Oh, is there? Oh. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I thought it was just a roundup of the weekend. I thought it was just, it it was just a roundup right? of last night. But um, I've got to say, you know, <laughs> nah. what that guy just said there, let's give credit to Liverpool. You know what I mean? Because let's do that. Everyone's yeah. just talking about how, you know, how you guys folded but Liverpool in that second half they were unreal I did say when we did that head-to-head -head, uh, the one thing is when people forget Liverpool were two up against Real Madrid I know they fell apart but they are at home that sort of team if they get a bit of momentum going but this time they kept a clean sheet and they scored more I mean it was unreal five clean sheets in a row now um, four wins in five um, three points behind fifth with a game in hand so, sorry, three points behind fourth with a game in hand. So things are looking a lot better, um, Robbie. But I have to say, for all the chat that Flex was giving about Lissandro and, and I saw a sign saying, watch him tiptoe through the cop with a cleaver. Bro, talk to me about that <laughs> twist up from Salah. Yeah, it happens. He, he got a twist him. up. He got absolute twist but up. But talk to me about Casemiro flopping. Actually, no, no, no. We're, we're keeping it on Liverpool being very good. Cody Gakpo. So, I mean, you've asked him about Liverpool. No, I'm about you. Yeah, I can come out if you but want flex, to concentrate because I'm, I'm a goal, distraction. You the know first what I mean? goal, the defending from Dallow and Fred combined to, to allow Robertson to play that incredible uh, assist through to Gakpo, cuts inside, leaves a run, sends him to, for, a, for a hot dog. What a finish. That was world-class finish. And that's what we've been waiting for to see um, from Gakpo. The second goal... Um, His dink was even better. Unbelievable mm -hmm. finish, by the way, from Gakpo for the second one. Darwin, great finish from him. Uh, Harvey Elliott was fantastic in the second half. I actually had to say sorry because I wanted him off at half-time. But he was arguably one of the best players in the second half. Trent, do you see that tackle on Rashford and said people mm. said he couldn't defend? See the space he made up on Rashford? He was running quicker than Rashford. So Gakpo gets his second goal. Up. Mad, isn't it? Um, Darwin, That's when he starts running. Darwin has now got 14 goals for the season, which I'm very happy about in 22 odd games. Um, and even Bobby, I just I, I could not believe what I was seeing last night, man. And, and seeing perfect, and right? seeing Stefan Stefan Bechetic walk past Bruno and Bruno give he did that seven times, Bruno. It's like he was waiting <laughs> for a bus. Do you know what? Do you know what I will say that that the Bobby Firmino one, yeah. That hurt you the most. That, didn't do it? you know why? Because I went testimonial. Yeah, I, I, I watched your you stream. Yeah, I watched, I, said, it, I watched it all. It's like it's a testimonial. Like seven times. Firmino. I don't think testimonials happen anymore. They don't, mate. And it's like they thought, right? Was, what, when did he come on at five? I can't remember. Six. 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 And it's like, right, let's get Bobby a goal. And the type of goal it was, where someone kicked it off. Yeah. What was the one where Luke Shaw kicked it on? Yeah, that was yeah, the Nunes that one. Was the sal it was Sal comical. Sal Sal yeah. second goal that was. He kicked it off someone. It hit off him. Then it then it come back. And Jota should have got a penalty as well. Bruno we should have had a penalty as well. Off. The refs in this, for I'll what? tell you what. For yeah, what? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm joking, mate. Oh, <laughs> <it's gonna say. laughs> it's still easy to get him, even though he's 7-0 up. You can still get him, you know what I mean? London no, Nomad no, says, Anthony's one of the most one-footed, <laughs> predictable wingers I've seen. Every time well. he had the ball, Robertson pointed to his Kicked right, out, knowing he'll cut in and does nothing else. Uh, Olu says, SMH, Martinez um, got turned into a Tasmanian devil. He did. Harry Worston <laughs> says, uh, remembering <laughs> Big Eric Ten Hag, with his quote, eras come to mm. an end. Mm. Klopp yeah. is a chain smoking on that United pack. pack yep. Entry Elite Seven says. Seven points above him, though. You can't. <laughs> Seven nil, bro. You need to stop. Like, this is what's funny. Just hold bro. your licks. Don't try no, and no, deflect. No. Hold. I'm not. I've, how many times? I've, if I wasn't holding licks, I, trust me, I wouldn't be here. And I wouldn't have said all the things <laughs> I said. But this thing that, like, <laughs> you're having a worse season than us. Like, don't forget, like, please do not lose sight of that. There is a reason why Manchester United were, were 10 points now. ahead of you before that game, and now it's seven. But we're, we're seven if, points ahead of you. W. Ferreira now. says this defeat you didn't hurts. get seven points, More you got seven mistakes goals. this game than <laughs> the entire season. <laughs> to settle this, they need to win the FA Cup, 
um, the Europa League and end up in the top four. No excuses. We don't get what I say. Sorry, he says to, to, to in, in other words, he's so hurt by the seven 0 He's obviously uh, an Arsenal fan. Yeah. He says to settle this, they need to win the FA Cup, Europa League, no. and end up in the top three. To settle this, we need four. to settle this. We need to we need to get our objective of what it always was. Uh, football says, why is Flex trying to paint the seven 0 if Liverpool make top four or not? The fact is, you lost seven 0 just expect it. Um, shameless settings. And Nalin says uh, people are going going on oh, at Bruno, but beautiful. I think De Gea was poor in goal as well. He gave up. Yeah, um, Dibby says Robbie, don't forget the six nil on Wenger's um, 100th game. I was there, and I can tell you, yeah. 1,000th game, <laughs> and I can tell you, it's terrible, <laughs> terrible, right? So it you know what I mean. But I'm telling you, right, seven nil to your deadliest rivals after you've just the week before been talking it up. It's inexcusable. You know, um, it's inexcusable. And uh, Garbo Stoughton says, Reese Nelson's got more goal involvements than Anthony. Let's move on. And to Alisson Arsenal. does as well, by the way. Let's move on to the Arsenal game. Um, I was at the game. Absolutely incredible game. Um, you're right, Abs? <laughs> um, but it was an absolutely incredible game because I was saying to Abby before, right, that I sat down at the start of the game with a couple of the people around me and we were all saying, what do you reckon? And people were like, yeah, 4 0, 5 0. A guy next to me said to me, he goes, you know what, Robbie, I reckon it's going to be, a, it'd be harder than we think, 2 0. <laughs> right? So we're all thinking going to be light work. Yeah. Referee blows his whistle, game kicks off. They just go straight down the other end. Had you even sat down? I'd sat down, but I could not believe it. We, everybody in the ground was in shock, was in absolute shock. And I've got to say, they play really well, Bournemouth, they as well. Were. They're on the counter attack, they were dangerous. Ramsdale had to pull off an unbelievable save. Yeah, great save. But Arsenal, we were attack after attack after attack. We couldn't break them down. They were getting the blocks in. There were VAR decisions not going our way. I'm thinking, this is not going to plan. Then in the second, we've had about 20 corners. Second half, they get their first corner, bang, Flash. goal. Great I'm header. thinking, nah, man. I'm thinking, this ain't going to be our day. But then Thomas Partey gets one back. I didn't even really celebrate because I'm thinking, we need to more. win this. Need to, yeah, we need to win this. More. You know what I mean? We haven't, we haven't come back from 2-0 down, I think, in, in 10 years. Oh, and wow. the last time we did that, you know who we was playing? Tottenham. Losing 2-0 to Tottenham, came back, beat them 5-2. 3-2, anyway, 3-2, three, two, sorry. Um, but anyway... Um, Happened. We, we, uh, <laughs> yeah, this show's all right now, actually. This show's all right, sorry. <laughs> we might come back to you. <laughs> yeah, I know. But anyway, um, we get one back. Then we got another one. Then Reese Nelson with a great assist. I couldn't believe it. Ben White, who also came on as a sub, he scores as well. 2 2. Then we're pounding them, pounding them. And Bournemouth were defending well in that yeah, period. Yeah, they were defending well. It wasn't well, like you no, had a chance no, that you no. should have scored. It was no, like no, they you're were knocking on the door, but nothing their really serious. They were serious. defending yeah, well, man. man. Like, Unbelievable. We were, yeah, I mean, they were clearing it. There were bodies on the thing. And then we get them right at the end of the game now, 97th minute. Ball comes out to Reese Nelson, controls it, on his, takes it down, Great and then strike, on his man. left foot, he's a right footed player. Great strike. Absolutely arrows it into the corner, and the scenes at the Emirates, I know some people were saying we're over celebrating. They've got to understand the context of that. Remember, City had just played earlier, a beaten Newcastle 2 0. I am really starting to believe, right, that we can do this. Thing. You only just believe you know? what? You're only just. Well, no, 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 listen, I've got belief, right, but when you see. That when you see uh, yeah. results like that, you know, you start to say to yourself, it's going to happen. You know what I mean? It did look In that way. Incredible. It, lo it, looks, it looks like, um, you know when that key moment happens for a team in a title race? Like Makeda. a key one. The Mc people were likening it to that Makeda one against Aston Villa. Um, it had shades of that, man. It had shades of like, Arsenal just won't give... Up. It doesn't matter whether they play poorly. It doesn't matter whether they concede stupid goals. It doesn't matter whether they go one nil down. It doesn't matter if they're coming off the back of a couple of dodgy results. They just keep going. And I've said it like many times. What I, what I give Arsenal credit for is that every single hurdle that you put in front of Arsenal that people have said, whether it's from early doors, oh, it's only the first five games. You know, it's, it's very early. Oh, after the World Cup, if they get a big injury, they'll be finished. Oh, when the Europa League starts, oh, they're going to think. Oh, when City start kicking into this, this run that they're going to go on where they win 20 straight. Well, there's only 12 games left now, 13 games left. When's this run, when's the City run going to happen then? 
you know, last minute, you're drawing, well, it's not their day, they find a way. And that's why... That's what you've got to do uh, if you're going to be champions. That's why Arsenal are going to win the league, in my opinion. Did you watch it? No, Rob, I was, <laughs> I, I, I was busy working for you. Surprise. I was busy yeah. working right. for you uh, doing F1. Sure. Uh, Did you watch the highlights? I, I saw the goals. <laughs> I saw the goals. Um, should have heard me in my car on the way home. Did you swear? Finish qualifying. This is how my I, honestly, I'm, I, my, my life is so bad right now. <laughs> I can't find joy in anything other than F1. Thank God Red Bull won. Thank God, thank God they came for. Literally, finish the race. I look at the score. I go, oh! And I, I said to Jason, I said, is that was that was two nil? Two nil down. I said, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say anything. No I said, I'm not gonna speak on it. I'm literally not even gonna put it out there into existence. By the time I got my bag got in the car, it was 2-1. By the time I was halfway down the high road, it was 2-2. We're stuck in traffic for so long, okay? Anyway, I'm sitting there, and I could, it's like last minute of the game, extra, like, few minutes left, whatever, listening to the commentary. And it's going, yeah, surely at like, last kick of the game, I'm going, come on, Bournemouth, come on, Bournemouth, come on, Bournemouth. Literally, to myself in the car, like, willing it. I'm on green lanes. And honestly, I thought, Shorty, like the whistle's gone now. All of a sudden, you know, when that commentary it like stops for like a millisecond, and it's like, oh my god! I literally went, oh my god! I did the same on oh the Saturday football god. show, man. I, I was like, this, this is it. Like my life is just over. Like it's it's fully over. And yeah, I'll say it because I'm not going to say it to you again. You are going to win the league. I won't see you for the whole summer. Um, she's going on holiday. <laughs> I'll find I, out you are, come. <laughs> I may be back in August for the new season. But yeah, I mean, yeah, listen, you're, listen, you're, listen, you're getting still, these results when you shouldn't be getting them, and you've got this go. luck at the minute. No, 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 yeah, you've got this luck at the go. moment. Things. Is it every, luck? Every, well, City, City is, well. is it luck? There's always oh, an element of lucky, luck when you're winning yeah. a league, hundred percent. But you're getting things that don't always necessarily go for I, I, go for teams unless you're in that. But green. you know what, Abby? What I would say about that game, we, I, um, and, I, and I heard um, someone on the radio saying that we were lucky. They invited me. I don't mean why. Why am I here? No, I didn't want to be here. Go now. It was It wasn't. It was like a go. Let me go. I don't want it. You sandwiched me. I can't even move. Don't look at that. When your team got no health and safety briefing, they didn't ask if I'm. You didn't even ask if I'm. You know, comfortable in tight spaces. How am I as a person? <laughs> no, 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 nothing. Oh, no, nothing. Oh, my God. Matisse. <laughs> you know Mary, you right? tempt. Matisse, don't, don't. Matisse. I could be anywhere. Matisse, <laughs> don't you don't do this. Don't go anywhere. You, <laughs> you stay right you there. You are a good guy. Don't do this. Matisse, you know what? Matisse it, it, is enjoying no heat this week. He's like, I'm trying this to week. get out of here without heat. It's my first week out of prison. <laughs> Enjoy yourself. my first week free. Enjoy yourself. Bro. It wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't, I don't think we were lucky. I, I, I think, <laughs> as a matter of fact, right, I think that's the sort of game a couple of years ago we either lost or we would have drew the game at best because there was so much going against us. We had about four or five VAR decisions and every single one went against us. Them handball ones. Right? I don't even know what handball. Went, I don't think they were, though. I, 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 I felt think they were the right nah, decisions. No, I felt the one with the guy. I don't know if you... What was the one with the one? You guys watched the full highlights. That I watched the full where, game. Right? That guy, where the guy handled, yeah, yeah, yeah. he handled it against the post. Oh, I mean, oh if, yeah, but if if that's not, his arms in there. But that was going no, in. No, right it, no, but he he pushed he stopped it, it from yeah, going in the goal. He still leaned it. That was a. And, if he wasn't and I, there, it goes in the net. Yeah, but they still I say if your thought, arms in by. And side, I also then. thought the one in the first half, the Tommy Asu one, um, the foul on him, that was a definite penalty as well. And you could even make an argument for the first one, right, where he goes to head of the ball, he completes, he misses it, the defender. And it hits him about here, which that, if you, the letter of the law, that's not his shoulder, you know? So they were all going against us. So to still show the spirit and the fight to come back and win that game, I thought Arsenal... Do you know what you know, else that, well? I thought that was a great... Do you know what else I'll say result. about Arsenal? Sorry, Abby, but it's true. You've got, got to give them the props here. Is the fact that, you know, when you go past your first 11. So what, did Smith, there was some changes, wasn't there? Yeah, Jack yeah, was Trussard on the bench. Yeah, came off injured. Trussard White came didn't off, start. White didn't start. Yeah. A lot happened where it yeah, wasn't yeah, your yeah. normal team. No. And for those players, you know, no White, White comes on, he scores. Yeah. yeah. Um, Reese Nelson, did he come on? Reese Nelson came, came on. Came on, assist, assist and goal. Scored. It's like, Emil smith got an assist. So when well. you're talking about a season, you know when you look back and then you think of like a team that wins mm. the league, 
and you talk about the 11 and you talk about the star men, it's going to be Jesus or it's going to be Partey or it's going to be, you know, Ramsdale making great saves. The forgotten men are Everybody's the guys, stepping up. are the 12th, 13th and 14th Everybody's men stepping up. who come in in games and get you over the Play line. Their and, role. and that and that you have mm. to give Arsenal credit for. Yeah. Uh, let me just skip some more super chats here. Jake Hammond says, Robbie, if Arsenal win the league, Abby should do a forfeit like wearing an Arsenal shirt. I thought she won't do it. That's literally like that. <laughs> Todd Miller we'll says, deleting done. the YouTube app if Arsenal win the league, he says. Um, Elijah says, note to the haters and celebration police. We don't care what you think. Your bad mind and envy will not defeat us. <laughs> Come on, you gunners. Uh, Jonathan says, um, I hate most United fans, but I've got time for flex. Gives a good non-biased opinions and spits facts. I don't. Just facts. a facts. shocking facts. result. <laughs> sometimes going, sometimes I'm guy. a bit dodged with the facts, but I, thank you, um, I appreciate that. Sol <laughs> Soleil <laughs> BJR, no, who I remember this guy, he's the one who kept telling me that United are in a title race, can win the quadruple. He says, Robbie, you guys better win the title from here. Otherwise, you're getting it worse than us. What if we win it though, Soleil? You have to have something else. What if we win it? What are you going to do? I think even if um, Arsenal don't win it, though, I don't think that's shocking. They're not no. going away. It's not like it's like, how yeah. can you lose it from this position? They're going to be here yeah. for a long um, time. London Nomad says, quite Bournemouth quite should be the handball club. Um, Arteta should give the players a mouthful for letting it, um, getting 2 0 down. We were sloppy. You can't do that against a mid table Eight team. Listen, we in. can't keep doing that every week. Anthony is a poor man's Pepe, says Garbo Staunton. Um, <laughs> That's an insult. Says, um, that big up to insult. Flex. Bad day, we are still hunting them. Hunting who? I don't know. <laughs> the trophies. We're hunting the trophies. Finish this. We're not, we're not hunting Must be the trophies. Let's, Let's move on. Actually, Chelsea. Go on. Chelsea go. Matisse. You're not as depressed this week. They clung on. You got a bit of smile on your face. Stunning win against Leeds. Little head of rubbish. <laughs> rubbish. <laughs> Stunning Look win against Leeds. I'm on probation this week. <laughs> One nil against Leeds. Day release. Fofana with a with a with a, with a goal. Um, yeah, he's a day release. Day release. You know, I forgot how to celebrate goals. <laughs> <laughs> when the goal went in, I swear I looked what around. What did you do? There was nobody in the room because I'm doing my watch along in my own <laughs> studio, and I'm like, what do I? What do we what do? 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 I'm <laughs> do we smile? Do we cheer? Do we do we do we play it cool? Is anybody watching us? You know what I mean? Well, I don't, like you don't care. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to. You know what I mean? I ain't mean no simp. Yes. What did you do? To be honest, yeah, I did a cluster of everything. Um, <laughs> listen, we can't read too much into it after this match. It's just one game. It's, it's, a, it's a win in isolation. Hell of a lot more to do for Graham Potter and that team, especially against Dortmund on Tuesday. But um, it was just great. I think Wesley Fofana in particular, he deserved that. Coming back from injury, he was playing really well. He's been playing really well since he came back into the team, got his goal. And I just, I, I'm closer to 40 points. I'm closer to 40 points. Is that what it is? I'm that, yeah, I'm that much closer to 40, 40 points. points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I think it's two, three wow. more wins and we're safe. And you know, I don't take this Premier League survival lightly. 30, 30, I see, is that 30, what happens here, guys? I see the way is that Bournemouth what played. 34 points. I see the way Bournemouth well cooked in, in that first half. I see the way Southampton come and cook us. I see, uh, these teams at the bottom, <laughs> We're scared. We we gotta we gotta get our forty points. So I'm just being humble. I'm so humbled. You think you're humbled? You think I, I've, I've been at you're this table? with the wind. I am more than you can believe. Humbled. <laughs> I've been at this table every week, taking L's after L's after yeah. L's after L's. All this so, makes me feel a bit better. Actually, this is a you break. You get it every week. You get it every Bro, week. Bro, I feel it's like you've been getting it. Yeah, yeah you, you know, sometimes you got to hold it. Yeah, I feel like I've better. been stacking shelves at Tesco and I finally got my 15. That's how I feel. And I'm just eating my little meal deal in my room with my little three points and I'm just humble. That's it. And and that's it. There's nothing more to read into it. It's, it Any predictions going of, forward? No. Take a bit of pressure off of Grandpa. Um, little bit. Uh, I mean millimetres. Like we're talking Formula One is, differences here. Yeah, the thing is no one's talking about him this weekend. I'm yeah, he, he gets him. a break. Yeah. But he's still in trouble. Talking mm. about yeah, him. you're you know, in Ketty is right. still in the room. You know, mm. you're you're still in trouble um, because at the end of the day, with 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 Graham Potter, he has to actually. It, it felt like that was the first game where he understood he had to win the match. Mm. Like he he when we was one the lot in the second half, it was three six one. I kid you not, it was three six one. All the midfielders were out. <laughs> It was like park the bus he settings. Knew, like, just have Twenty to minutes get to go. I've never seen and it's it. And leads as well. It was a relegation battle. Yeah. It yeah. really was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we were hanging and we were hanging in there, and it was. Oh, it's tough times, Robbie. I'm. I'm just. I'm just relieved, man. I'm just mm. relieved. It literally, that's all it is. <laughs> Proper hear it in his voice, man. Right, right. Um, meanwhile, over at the well, he wasn't even at um, the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. 
it was in Wolves. I don't even um, think we need Wolves, to talk about it. Right? Wolves. Uh, Wolves won. <laughs> Tottenham now. I watched the game and um, don't you laugh? Don't you laugh? <laughs> it was a it, don't laugh. It, you okay. laugh, <laughs> mate. I can always laugh at Tottenham. For this unbelievable <laughs> season you're having, you are all of four points ahead of Tottenham. And we still got a trophy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to leave. <laughs> what's but, the, no? What's the saying? What is it? It goes. What's the order? It goes. Inic out, Levy out. Um, Cont- There's an order in it. The cycle. Yeah, is it Enoch out, Levy out, Conte out? No, Enoch and Levy are the same thing. That's that's right. That goes hand in hand. That's always the bottom line. Okay. That never changes. By the way, over nine thousand of you watching. Smash the, the likes, moment. guys. Smash yeah. those yeah. like buttons. Over two thousand likes. Loving it. There's really. Abby, what, what, do you, what do you want me to say? It was a game of two halves. I watched the game. Yeah. First half, it was all Tottenham. Yeah, they were good you first hit the, half. Hit the bar. You was, you was all over Wolves. But in the second half, <laughs> they made a couple of changes, and it was all Wolves. Yeah. And they end up getting the goal. Troy, a great finish, man. It was a great goal. He never scores. I was going to go. There's a few, there's <laughs> a few <laughs> things I've seen this weekend. <laughs> there's a few things I've seen this weekend. Troy could hit that another 50 times. He'd never score that Facts. again. <laughs> Reese Nelson could hit that another 50 no, times. No, no, Reese Nelson was. He'd, he'd never he'd, score a goal like that again. No, ever. Those bodies, ever. Left foot, Not a chance. Weak foot, Not the a gap. chance. Not no, a chance. Not a chance. I'll make a bet with you. Straight back to not us. a chance. <laughs> Careful with Rich bets on this scored, channel, Rich, That's not his first goal this season. <laughs> yeah, you'll never yeah, score a goal like that. Against Liverpool. Well, maybe the Richarlison should just score a goal. Richar- about, how about listen, that? listen, listen. <laughs> Richarlison didn't even get on the pitch, He's right? He's Richardson now. Richarlison no, he did, even, he did. Yeah, right, no, right, right at the end. That fancy Richarlison. He didn't even start He's nothing. Richardson. For me, Richardson. you've got someone like Dan Juma, okay? You bought in. Why Why did you bother bringing him in? For what point? You are playing a 35-year-old Lucas Moura who's going at the end of the season. More game time Lucas this week five. than you're giving Richarlison, no. than you're giving Dan Juma. And to be fair, Conte weren't there. That was fine. Don't care. I am. I don't care, Rob. You know I don't care. It's over, man. I don't believe you. I don't I mean, care. This show's I don't intense, go no isn't more. It? Yeah, I went to the Chelsea big. game. My dad wanted to go. Really. I said, let's go. I'm not going on Wednesday. I don't want to sit in the cold. I don't no. want to sit in the traffic. No, no. I don't care. Mm. I just want this season to be done. I saw Daniel Levy out there in Bahrain chatting up the American Iranian owner that wants to buy us, who also owns McLaren. And if I'm looking at McLaren, <laughs> I don't really want him either, because the way it's going at McLaren. And you've got a new track under the stadium being built. Yeah, we've got a new track being built. Do you want to go and we can race each other? Yeah, sure. Some great, nice day great. out. That, nice. That's the next time you'll go to the stadium. Yeah, probably. You ain't going yeah, I was just about to say, I, I, say this. I, I thought this was impossible. I've come here to hold the corn, and rightly so. I did not think that this is sweet corn. There's oh, other no, pain going on. Get <laughs> Everyone gets. There's <laughs> real <laughs> life other pain going. This is all right. It's real life. No, it makes me remember that it's that. This is real life, bro. This is real life. I sit here week in, week out. I've had many a breakdown on a Monday morning. Many, many a video clip. Yeah, exactly. Many a clipped video. I am past the point oh. that I truly am invested, where I am truly care. There is no point of me caring. If we get top four, fantastic. That is. Do you think you can now? Liverpool, what an achievement. Liverpool no chase chance. It. Liverpool get it. There's absolutely no chance that we get top four because we're not consistent enough. Inshallah. United, they're going to they're gonna go him for Kane. Kane's going to go to United in the summer. Flipping, eh? ooh, That's ooh, fine. Damn. Wow. He deserves to be happy. I want him to go win something. Anymore. Um, <laughs> and it is what it is, and who knows what we'll do. I saw, a, I saw an article that said that uh, Tottenham are interested in Steve Cooper. Yes, I saw that too. Yeah, you saw that. That could be the next Harry Redknapp, you know. I think they should go back to that Why don't stuff. you take Steve Cooper? Maybe we will. They've already got one. <laughs> he integrated 30 players. Yeah. And we they got, we got 30 players. So that could not. To be fair. Yeah. You know I mean? If we're talking about integrating me. players quickly. But yeah, I, I've, just got, I've got no interest. So let's, let's just see what happens oh. in did the summer. Pe- see who comes in. Did Pedro Porro get taken Pedro off? Pedro Porro, I think, yeah, for Royale. He was the one that was close to scoring and he brought Yeah, do you know what? Royale. That's the first time I've seen us take a free kick that's actually nearly yeah. gone in so in he, about eight years. And he took off yeah. him and brought on Emerson Royale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me do some more super chats here. Box of Oranges 84 says, if Arsenal going to win the league every player needs to give something that was my first thought when Nelson was subbed on <clears throat> North Korea fan TV says location or son you do the blasphemy location Ooh, I'm not sure what that is North Korea fan <laughs> TV can we Brad, just stop and realise that Brad, name <laughs> Brad A <laughs> says uh, love YouTube there do they? stream for ages everyone's on form today Stanny says seven pass United on Klopp's seventh season yeah is it seventh he season they're talking season about the curse, curse. come on right. Joshua says uh, explain what Spurs um, have to be have to be in the top six well they are in the top six 
Um, Darren Walker says, I'm a happy Arsenal fan. However, Abby's still my favourite Spurs fan. Thank you. She's gorgeous. Thank you. Alexander says, Abby, um, who do you think Tottenham... Who do you think Tottenham will survive the last 16 of the... Oh, will they go past AC Milan? <laughs> Worked in rugby but they're not that. in the conference league, are they? Yeah. No. Yeah. What does it say? Champions League. Yeah, because it must not... mean the Europa League. Do I think we'll win? Ne no, next yeah. season, because they're going to be in it. Oh, <laughs> I don't, but I, I say no, this I, all, I say this all the time. I would rather not be in the Europa League, the conference oh, league. I'd rather literally league. finish like What's you. I'd rather finish that? potentially like ninth or tenth. Really? Mm. And have nothing. I'd rather just have one competition. But then you guys, would you win the league anyway? Well, actually, let me just say one thing before we move on. Let me just say one. You've tweaked my interest. You've hit, a, you've hit a slight nerve. Oh, damn. <laughs> Trigger. Tottenham don't play their best team in cup games. Right. They never have. They always make their changes to the squad, drop Kane, drop Son, drop whoever for cup games. Weren't Kane in that playing against Sheffield United? No. no. Could have done them. Tell okay. me, tell me where and how Tottenham have the audacity right. To change their, their strongest, which is not that strong, but their strongest, starting 11, in a quarter-final oh, right, okay, yeah. of an FA Cup where you could have got Blackburn, potentially, at home yeah, after the at you'd be in the semi-final, potentially, and a trip to Wembley. I thought it was crazy. Tottenham do this year in, year out. Regardless of the manager, doesn't matter who's in charge. This is obviously something that comes from the top that says you have to rotate because above all else, you must get top four. You must rest players. Mm. You must not play everyone in full strength unless you have to. Where did Tottenham get off doing that? Well, we have not won a trophy for 15 years. February the 28th, 2008. Yeah, 15. Oh, we just hit the 15-year mark. Day. Yeah, I How, remember where I was on that day. I was in an Osasuna game. Th that Osasuna. irritates me so more than anything that's going on in the league this week. That's true, though. This irritates me more than anything. Because yeah, I thought he was crazy. Ca Cara yeah. Carabao Cup, the, the run United had, easy run. Mm. You know? But we played the strongest team yeah, in the world. You played the, the yeah. strongest when team. When we fought Rashford and Casemiro, because and you, man you, won't play at home to like Redden and that. Because you wanted no, the trophy. No, they're playing because we won the trophy. And I cannot believe that... That Tottenham do this year in, year out, and that all comes from the top, who say, don't prioritise the cup, it's all about top four. So what is the point of being invested, going on the same merry-go-round every single year? Yeah, but when you win the cup, they say, don't celebrate, because you... Look, no, I think teams, you so. should celebrate. Mm. Celebrate your Carabao Cup. Enjoy it. Mm. I'd love you to meet Levy sure. one day, you know. <laughs> Show oh, says, uh, coming back to prison. When just just Spurs, <laughs> Spurs' entire history is a 7 0 loss. Now, little sales, Richarlison <laughs> waiting for the cross from Neymar here. Oh, sorry, we're talking about Spurs. Wow, look at that poll. That's a joke. Jason, take that down. What's the poll? Jason, take that down. Where is it? So, oh, the poll is, it. let me see what the poll is. Um, because that's, that's, that's rude. That's rude. What's the poll? Arsenal winning the league. Um, yes, next no? time oh, Spurs next will win a trophy, the year 2030. <laughs> The year 2045 Never's or the win. year 2065? Never's out in front right now. I know you like that. Jason's uh, never at 54%. Jason is such a Jason is such a a Jonathan <laughs> Norton says, uh, respect Reese, three goals and two assists in two games. Isabella says, um, Turkish in the house what do well. you think about Tottenham Abbey? Um, Shit. <laughs> Hey, you know Seuss the song? Mode says, <laughs> him, lovely. Flex dodged the bullet by n dodge Flex dodged the bullet not signing Gakpo. Also, Flex Anthony needs time. He's young, new league. Also, you should be ashamed of your captain. He's a disgrace. Yes. Guna Sam Seven says, Hi, Abby. Hope you're doing well. What's more repulsive for you? 60 million from, from a goalless Richarlison. Or the last minute rocket from Reese Nelson to win. What was Raj, painful, was it? Yeah, I think he means that. The, the, yeah, Reese Nelson. Uh, Raj says Abby's facial expressions are gold. Um, and oh, the, the next one got deleted. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> deleted. Just man, no, man you said, know it was something. Man said it was something. I, 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 I don't think there's nothing terrible, by the way. Uh, so let's just run through some of those other results at the weekend. Manchester City, of course. Beat Newcastle by two to, two goals to nil. Newcastle missed some chances. I did that, that game, game here on DR and they did they, they did they just missed too many chances. Um, you can see why they play Joe Linton in midfield, don't they? Big Oggs has, has had a um, tough couple of weeks on this channel, man. Didn't it? Yeah. Big Oggs. Uh, Newcastle yeah. losing that two 0 and they're, they're starting to slip down the league as well. Aston Villa beat Crystal Palace by a goal to nil. Um, 
Brighton 4, West Ham 0. West Brighton, Ham, do you think West Ham might go down? Mate, West oh. Ham won 4-0 last week. Yeah. They've lost 4-0. But it was against fellow relegation. You know what I mean? I still can't they won the game in Birmingham, but they're in big trouble. Big trouble. They're in big, big trouble. Man. doing deserving. Did you see what Declan Rice said in the press or afterwards? No. Yes. 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 He said, what do you make of everyone saying this and that about you? He goes, well, if they're care. experts, they'd yeah. be on the pitch. I hate that one. Not. I hate that one. It's like, like it's you can't have an opinion, yeah. Deck, yeah. without having to put yeah. your boots. He's, a, he's acting like he ain't gone to a restaurant and said the food shit. Well, says, but you can't cook. It's yeah. come, it's come across. We're the customer. It's come across. Yeah. Three stars you got. Yeah, it's exactly. come across very arrogant from him. Yeah, but he's yeah. rattled. He's angry, isn't he? He's, he's angry. He's yeah. leaving yeah. the club anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So four nil, four nil against. I saw the other day that Chelsea are interested in Deserby now. What's wrong with you, Logan? Leave Brighton alone. Brighton, man. Get your own gear. You want deserve it? Friday, we're in Pochettino. Southampton. Southampton with a big you win want over Poch Leicester. On yeah, I, I still want him. Oh. That was a massive game. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Down the bottom, Southampton <laughs> winning yeah. that by goal to nil. So if we look at the bottom, <laughs> Bournemouth actually on the bottom now <laughs> okay. um, on unfair, 21 man. points, joint the same yeah. as um, Southampton, who also have 21. Right. Everton, who got a draw against Nottingham Forest yesterday, they are on 22 points, but they played a game more than both Southampton and Bournemouth. Just above them, a lot of clubs in, are still in this. 22 points, Leeds in 17th, 16th place, West Ham on 23 points, even Leicester now, 24 points, they've played 25 as well, they are right in the mix as well, only two points off the relegation zone, there were some fans calling for Brendan Rodgers to be sacked um, the other day, so, and then moving to the top, Arsenal uh, still five points clear on 63 points, Man City five points back in second place on 58. They've both played the same amount of games now. Man United um, on 49 points, but they have a game in hand. And Tottenham just below them. Um, sorry, Man United on 49 points. Tottenham on 45. But Liverpool now gaining traction. Um, three points behind Tottenham. They've got a bit of goal difference as well. And they've got a game in hand, and Newcastle coming, starting to, to drop. Newcastle was second a few weeks Newcastle ago. Newcastle will just fall out, fall yeah. out now. 41 yeah. points now Magpies um, from 24 out. games. <laughs> they do have a couple of games in <laughs> hand, but they really got to start getting their act <laughs> together <laughs> really, really fast. Um, Turkish has got a question for Flex, <laughs> got, uh, which was uh, one of the worst. The 6 1 at Old Trafford against City. <sighs> this um, is the worst one. Or the 6 1 at Old Trafford against Spurs. Or the 7 0 at An Anfield. This is the worst and one. 4 0 to Brentford. This, as is, well. the, this is the worst one. That's a heavy defeat for a club of United States. 100%. 100%. This, yeah, looks, this is, that's what's, that's what's really, that's what's actually mad about it the fact that we've improved a lot. But like in there, it's like this, deep inside them, there's this still. Evil. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And we can finish the season strong and go, oh, but those, how did that happen? But to, to answer his question, big up Turkish, this 7 0 is, is by far the worst. Um, London Nomad says, did Abby just swear? Well, when you right. said, what do I think of Tottenham? I said, shit, yeah. And MB says, um, <laughs> one more thing. Um, the stat between Liverpool versus United in the last five years is 21-4. That is a grim stat. It's actually like Not being close between the two for two years. It's terrible, man. It really is bad. And, 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 and that, that's what really annoyed me. In a season where we're actually doing better than them, that still happens on the aggregate score. You know, we, we were so happy to beat them this earlier this year to avenge what happened last year. Obviously, it went a 5 0, we were 2 1, but just to win. And then to see them fall off and be so now next far year, down in the league. Again. Keep but trying. nothing can avenge that apart from winning 8 0. Nothing can, nothing. No, you can't avenge that you, loss. You've got to do that like twice though to avenge this. It's not, it's, it's, it's now, now it's down. just about just making sure we're more successful than Liverpool and winning. Carl Games, Carl Garn says, uh, a few what days ago, a certain fan was flexing. Yeah, boy. And said Liverpool needs an entire rebuild. Yeah, man. Mad. Is that they really do in so? midfield, yeah. They still do need that. That midfield packed and you in yeah. yesterday. MP well, so, so you don't want it. So in summer, you don't want, no, so you don't want it. Do, but I'm saying. So you still need a rebuild in the midfield. Okay, but that midfield that you said, and yeah. I've said, needs a rebuild, and packed you in tight and smoked you. Did. MP Talks uh, says Banner Club, Arsenal won't win the league. Hold that. Um, don't forget to subscribe to um, the brand new F1 channel, On Track GP. I know Abby is throwing everything into that right now. It's but changing it's up. No my more life. Channel. My life it's and a great channel. It's a great channel. I saw Matisse like was on it yesterday. Uh, Matisse as well. You were doing the, um, Watch along, yeah. the Grand Prix for the Bahrain Grand Prix. There's another one coming up. 
in Saudi, um, in Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Right. I think I'm going to be on that one. Ooh, Saudi Saudi Arabia. Why don't you join me and Matisse on, uh, on the Australia one? First yeah. Sorry, sorry, no, not the Saudi, the Australia one. Yeah. I'm on. Oh, you are? Yeah, yeah, Good, I'm on the early morning. 5 a.m. start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Be there. Can't yeah, wait. I'm going to be on that. I'm going to be on that. So make sure you subscribe. Subscribe to On Track GP. There's a link in the description. Subscribe right now. It's a great channel. Gives you all the information on the F1. We do these great watch alongs to it as well. It was a brilliant one yesterday um, with Matisse on it. Abby, you did the um, qualifying, qualifying as well. Exactly. So it's fantastic. Make sure you go and check that out right now and subscribe. Ah, oh, let me just finish off with these super chats here. There's been loads of them coming in today. Uh, and Entry Elite says, Robbie, we still have to go to Anfield. Facts. Scary. That is true. Oh, like, I was watching that yesterday. Yeah, my I was like, yeah, seven. If and then I was like, I've got your oh, seven, we still got to go there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to seven well. nil. <laughs> right, sorry, it's going to be a tough game. Uh, but I, listen, when I, is that game? I always, I always April, April 4th. April, yeah. yeah, I always knew it'd be tough because I looked at it and I said, by the time we get to play them, they're going to have most of the injury yeah. players And Luis Diaz is coming back in the next yeah. week. When do you go to City? Yeah. But then we got Jesus coming back. So I, when, when do you go to City? I think it's in April. Oh, so April's the one. We've April's got City the, April's April's April the, the first. I've got to hold, got to hold everything on yeah, April. Yeah, you could play City April. and us. So April. You, you could have a bigger uh, talk. April's a horrific month. Oh, you're still hoping. Hey, listen, I'm not happy. I'm not giving up. It's goose chase. Manchester City will close this league. Oh, you're saying by force. Oh, you say Man City did. If they don't, I'm going up to Manchester myself. <laughs> they they must. And, and, uh, words to exchange. Ala Rio Madrid says uh, <laughs> we still own Liverpool a ninth another 5-2 loss. What, what was the Real Madrid score last night, mate? Cheers. No <laughs> and the one before that? Cheers. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No worries. Oh, yeah, you're 5-2 down. Good luck. Buena suerte. Vamos oh, yeah, a ver yeah. muy pronto. Well, if you, <laughs> you, <laughs> you can pull it around. You're 5-2 down, bro. I think you can pull it around. Huh? Pull it around. <laughs> well, listen, if we can score again. Uh, yeah. You should have saved them goals, mate. Do this, bro. You should have saved them goals. You scored seven in the wrong game, mate. No. You scored seven, mate. Rain him back in. Can we score four against the team that haven't scored for two weeks? Yeah. Go on, man. Rain him. Go on, clip that. Are you going to come back then, yeah? You actually just won seven. No, you got to go Real Madrid. Your kings of Europe. Of course you're going to come back. No, he said. He just said light work. We're four 0 down. We're going to go to Real Madrid. They ain't scored in however. You did say that. I didn't say light work. Oh, well, you hard work. Well, you just you think you can, but you believe in that you can do it. Now. The question you're asking me: Can we score four goals? Yes, without reply. Yeah. Without conceding. That's, the, uh, that's a different question, though. Ah, uh, will you go through? Maybe. <laughs> Love one seven nil. Hold on. No, hold on. Hold on. He's on, on fire. Godfather, are you going to come back against Real Madrid? On sale now, by the way. Fifteen uh, percent <laughs> on our Shopify. Figure. Before you finish. Should have done seven percent. Wait, wait, wait. Got oh. Vivek says a uh, question for Flex and AGT. Cool. Will you take fourth place and get fresh seven nil, or third place? If Liverpool takes fourth place, they'll be happier than Man United. Would I take, so that, that again? question's a bit all over the place. Yeah, it's, it's a, a bit all over the place. Uh, it's a bit all over the place. Basically, we're going to finish higher than Liverpool still. And we'll take what kind of uh, clip And Bean says, Robbie, can you please look at your <laughs> April fixtures, please? Here we go again. I know April fixtures are quite tough. I think we've got Chelsea, oh, we've got... Um, City. April Fool, we've got... April, mad. We've got Chelsea, we've got Liverpool, we've got City. Come Bro, on, let me tell you something, I'm yeah? Give up, we've been having this all season. Don't, don't What's going to happen then? Yeah. What's going to happen then? It's true. And we've we'll done it. What we've about if you it. don't win the league right? by 10 points? Yeah. Right? It's only you know what I mean? Two. Everybody, you know what I mean? <laughs> every <laughs> time. <laughs> every, you know what I mean? They're just looking for a reason. This is not the same Arsenal as last season. And it's a different... Got better players got more experienced players in there and we, look we're able to weather these storms so don't write it off yes april's difficult yeah. just like january was difficult when we had tottenham away and we yeah. had to go we had to play manchester united yeah, and we had to play newcastle mm -hmm. right relax what a great man. show this has been right anyway yeah we've really got a pin anyway so i can pop this stuff <laughs> <laughs> i've got a lot of fun the seven just pop that you know what i mean I anyway listen we've reached the end we've reached the end of the show don't forget to subscribe here to dr sports uh for more Post mortem on the United um, defeat. We've moved on, mate. We've got Betis. No, I'm just going to check out United View. Betis. Oh, you've moved on from that. No post what do you mean post mortem? <laughs> this next one, isn't it? Betis. There's got to be. Right. They've got no fakir as well. Be. Betis be right. just drew nil nil last night in Madrid. So. Right, um, AGT. Check him out on the Cop TV. Um, of course, Matisse, the Mar Channel. Three point collectors. <laughs>
Oh. And Abby, you can find Abby not only on DR Sports, you can find her on On Track GP along with Matisse and myself. Right, so make sure you check that out and subscribe to that right now. Um, he's in such you a almost nice became, you know what? You almost he's in what? such a good yeah. mood. Before, before we go, games, you before we go, go. Yeah. I will issue you an apology. Thank you, dude. In terms of. Um, I'll take it, I'll take it. In terms of, I came with all the smoke. And every single, every single point I addressed, yeah. literally. You couldn't to, have to, said it better. I couldn't have said it any worse. Better, um, better. And you deserve your 24 hours of... Innocent. I've had one yeah. of the best weekends of my life, man. So, <laughs> you, 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 this, is, this has been your time. This has been your show. Yeah, thank you. I deserved it. So. Uh, thank you. Flick, some, listen, thanks for being a good sport for coming in, man. I want to know, will I get any other invites? Just, not even just, yeah. just, just... Is this my only I appearance now? Or do, I'm only allowed if we get, you Depends know... Depends what else you do, you know? Yeah, or if we win stuff, am I allowed to come on? Well, then, we, we, we were looking for you last week. Yeah, oh. if you could Where's turn, KG? If you could He's the one I want. KG, can I say on him? I want KG, can I say, can I say, where are you? Can I say on this guy, you, you see you, KG. Ooh, you shit. are disgusting. What he does, yeah, when the big games come about, the guy doesn't even not even come to the United View. He goes across the Atlantic. Yes. That's what he does. When we had to lose against Arsenal, he left me to front it up. The guy was in New York. Oh. Now we've hold, held seven against Liverpool. The guy's in LA. Oh. Like, he leaves me to just front it up. So, yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe there you he's go. gone to support that one of the LA teams. LA, LA Galaxy, yeah. 100%. <laughs> Might be better off with that. Anyway, listen, thanks for watching the show. show. We'll be back next week. Don't forget to check out all of our excellent content here on DR Sports and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Oh, oh God, McLaren. Oh, he's gone. He's been in the pit 40 seconds. Whoa. Ah! <laughs> ah! Front wing, careful with the front oh, wing. Oh, God. <laughs> Matisse, it's happening, mate. I'm putting on my lucky new Ferrari hat. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, science. It's Leclerc. Leclerc. Drama. Uh, Take that out. Leclerc.